Phillips has gotten the band back together for the new season of Girls 5 Eva, <laughs> where she's determined to reinvent herself. Take a look. You guys, I made my own clothes out of stuff at the hotel. Lufus, the comforter. This, this is the new me. Totally original, still very hot, but on my terms. This is not to appeal to your sack, buddy, okay? Good, it doesn't. Oh. My thing's an older lady in a raincoat. Ugh. And I'm really done being pushed around by guys. Yeah. <laughs> Please welcome Busy Filler. <laughs> Nice to be here. Yes. Nice to have you. I know. Have you been here before? Yes. Do you know yeah. a couple of times. Well, okay. First of all, we can't remember if I've ever been here in person. Yes. In you, were person. On, you were on satellite. On, on satellite. I was I because I got COVID right before. Right. Oh, and so I had to do it remotely from. We're remote. Yeah. That was a bummer because yeah. I was really excited to come. Yeah. Well, well you're we're glad here, now. To be here now. I'm yeah. so happy to be here. Thanks Excellent. for helping me. Excellent. <laughs> But the Oscars aired last oh, night. Oh, yeah, I watched them. And uh, <laughs> you were actually there in person, not by satellite, in 2017 when there was that La La Land uh, mm. moonlight mix-up. Yeah. yeah. What, what do you remember? Oh, yes, that, there I am. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, sort of. <laughs> One, you look oh. beautiful. Matt sort of, Damon looks stunned, look, and and everybody was. You look Everybody was, look everybody was yeah. like horrified. Come on. Well, it's wow. interesting because okay, so I've been Michelle Williams. She's been my best friend since we met on Dawson's Creek many many years ago. Oh, I love that. And uh, yeah. yeah, we can applaud for long term friendship <laughs> yeah. Yeah. between two women who support yes. each other. Um, but uh, I have been her plus one on. Honestly, since Brokeback Mountain, yeah, um, and so then it just became kind of this like this thi just this thing that we do, and so I have been to many an Oscar ceremony, and um, as soon as we almost didn't stay for the end yeah. that year Ooh. because. I was like, uh, La La Land's gonna win. Let's just go start drinking. Well, you're like on the and front row. We were in the front row. I know, but there are seat fillers. Yeah, but they you fill know. with other people. And also, you've been there. You have to understand, not that I'm like, we're being ungrateful, but like, you guys, your day starts at like, you know, everybody. Two in the morning. It's right. so, it's, it's you, you've, you've, ready, and you've been getting yeah. ready the whole time and you're uncomfortable you and you haven't eaten yet. And you think you, it's just, it's always it's bad lot. planning. It's a lot. It's a lot. And, and so we were tired, but I was like, you know, okay, wait, let's just stay. Let's just stay. Okay. And then they called uh, La La Land yeah. and we're clapping and then I noticed something was happening mm -hmm. because there was somebody ran. Did they all on the ramp? People out. get on the stage. Oh, they're on stage. Yeah, they're on stage. Yeah. Oh, they were on stage. They were accepting the yeah. award. And, and then the guy came out. The the AD guy yes. came out and whispered something. And everybody went. Uh oh. But before oh, that even God. happened, right, because we were in the front row, somebody came down and was like, <laughs> and it was just very clear that something was You amiss. went to a juicy one. It was, yeah, that was wow. so wild. Wow. And then when the, we when they announced that they had made a mistake <laughs> and had given uh, Warren Beatty the wrong envelope. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. And they had given him the envelope that, that uh, Emma had just won uh, Best Actress for oh. La La Land. Oh. And so he had taken this big pause because he's like, why does it say Emma Stone, La La Land? Yeah. But then he just oh. said La La Land because he figured, well, they know what they're doing. Um, oh. How does that happen? That it was, I, I'm oh. sure. Are you glad you stayed? Yes. Yeah. It was wild. And it was like such an iconic picture yeah. that that photo uh, was taken by uh, LA Times photographer named Al it Sieb. Is so good. And oh, my goodness. Look at everybody's faces. Yeah. And um, Look at Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. I mean, it's really Look a good Look at The Rock. Matt Damon. The Rock is giving Apple. classic. The Rock yeah. is like, yeah. what oh, is no. cooking? Oh my Sting God. Looks a Sting looks shocked. disturbed too. <laughs> we were all just like, what is wow. happening? And uh, and it was. It Imagine was... what your face would have been like if you had been there the year of the slap. <laughs> Uh, I would have given good face. You know what I mean? You do I, give good face. The thing about me is I really have no poker face. Yeah. So I really just, I really wear it. Um, yeah. But yeah, that was, uh, it was really fun to be a part of something so, yeah, iconic. iconic. Now. Something yeah. else memorable. iconic that you're part of, your show Girls 5 Eva is back for the third season. Yeah. And it's going to stream on Netflix uh, for the first time. Yes. You co-star the amazing Sarah Bareilles, Re uh, Renee Elise Goldsberry, and Paula Pell. And the premiere party was last week. Oh. Tell us about what's happening here. 
Well, um, <laughs> oh, we're singing live in front of the Palace Theater. Nice! Um, I love yeah. it. So you guys, if you haven't seen the show, it's all three seasons will be on Netflix this Thursday. But the four of us play um, members of a former 90s like manufactured girl group, yeah. um, <laughs> at pop group, yeah. who then, you know, all these years <clears throat> later, uh, find that their <laughs> old hit, their one hit, got, get sampled by a present day artist and so they decide to try to make a comeback but on their terms and like they can write their own music and they don't have to you know wear the things that the their horrible manager tells them to wear or sing about you know like dream girlfriends because our dads are dead so you never have to meet them or get asked why you left school um, the lyrics are really funny but um but so but we sing live and you, and you, you all can sing, can sing. Yeah. Yes. we all can sing which can i think sing. people knew outdoors in the cold here in new york let me tell you something. It was beautiful all day that day. Mm -hmm. And then the gale force winds, 50 yes. miles an hour, whipped up. Yes. And I was just so lucky that um, my hairstylist and I had decided, <gasps> made a call. I'm so cold, I'm just oh, meditating look at the wind. there. I put my arms up because I was like, um, I gave birth naturally with no drugs twice. I can just stand here and freeze <laughs> for three minutes. That was what was going through my head um, in that photo. Well, um, amazing. But yeah, but they threw us just the Netflix threw just the most incredible celebratory premiere of this third season, which I am so proud of. That's and wonderful. the music is great. The jokes are really funny. It's from Tina Fey and yeah, Paris, yeah, yeah. You know, and um, and we just also it's about being a woman. In your 40s, it's about, uh, is it ever too late to reach for your dreams? Um, right. If What if you thought your dreams had passed you by? Can yes. you right. still right. do it? Well, another one where you're kind of uh, feeling that same vibe is in Mean Girls. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The movie musical taking an <laughs> iconic role from the original film, you play Mrs. George, <laughs> AKA Regina George's mom. Yeah. And you're a cool mom. The but cool you mom. absolutely <laughs> make it your own. You nailed it. Thank you. But while you were filming this, you were also going through some really rough things in your own life. Listen guys, isn't that just what That's all life. of this is? Mm -hmm. Right? Like we have to hold all the things. That week Sorry. was really difficult for me filming. Uh, my daughter had her first seizure. Oh, uh, she's now had sorry. another one and she's been diagnosed with epilepsy. My 15 year old, um, my best friend of 30 years was diagnosed with cancer that week oh, while I was on gosh. set. It was, um, it was difficult, it was difficult. But I was so grateful to be surrounded by, because Mean Girls is also Tina Fey, yeah. uh, to be surrounded by Tina and, uh, and her team who I work with so closely and have for many years now and um, I felt really supported. And you know, part of our job is to remember that uh, with life comes all things and there's great joy and there's great sadness and yeah. We just moved through it, yeah. Yeah. I guess, yeah. you know? And the we're movie's, and the movie's like great. This. And, and we're just so like, fun. we can make it through yeah. this cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it's, always, it's always a pleasure to see you because you're always doing something really wonderful.